my garden as of August 25th. So that flower barrel, again, doing phenomenal. Sunflower growing out of it. Even to the point where I got cucumbers growing on it. Continuing on. Right there are my habanadas. They're doing a lot better, but I still don't think I'll get anything from it. Um, right there, that tomato is a classic example of shitty soil, which is interesting because I uh, go over and look at this tomato, and it's clearly having no issues. And there amongst them are carrots. They're about ready. You can kind of see a guy creeping in right there. More tomatoes, more tomatoes. This is an interesting variety. It's a green zebra, and uh, I don't know how to tell when a green zebra is ripe. <laughs> Carrying on. Uh, pansies, for as resilient as they are, don't seem to like that shallow planter. Another planter there. More cukes. I'm, I'm got more cukes than I know what to do with, but that's fine by me. Right here, mini bell. These are a variety that are supposed to only get as big as a quarter, and you can see a guy back in here. Evidently, that's as big as they're supposed to get. More cucumbers. The Romanesco zooks. My yellow zooks. <laughs> Pandemonium is what I call this planter. It's uh, been overtaken by volunteer tomatoes. But in there are uh, beets. I use the beets mostly in my smoothies. We'll try to pickle some maybe, but I don't know how far that's going to go. Right here, the corn container. Doing very well. You can see right there, I got some corn. I do believe is very close to being ready to be harvested. Right here is my green zucchini jungle um again my anaheims my habaneros all my habaneros are doing really good except for this plant and i don't know what this plant's deal is and part of it why i don't like what's going on with this you can see right down there i got a habanero that's not far from being ready and that's a big habanero that's a really big habanero moving on my jalapenos, they're in the middle, the holy moly, I don't know, again, what's with the yellow leaves, they say that's water deficiency slash nutrient deficiency, which is interesting because all my plants would show signs of that, not just that one, so I'm not sure what exactly it means, but I guess we are getting a little bit of yellow on this jalapeno now, but if you look up in there, I got more jalapenos than I know what to do with. We pickled a batch last uh, weekend or weekend before last and they are hot. Very very hot. I don't again have never had jalapenos that hot. Then again or here again is my other Romanesco and just because he's been in every other one Casey. Haha. <laughs>